Hi guys, so I'm here with my good buddy Tony Moran yeah. and we're just chit-chatting about that awful video of uh, his that somebody compiled and hi. So we're just going to set the record straight for everyone out there and I figured I'm the person to do it. So. Let's chat, Tony. Tell me exactly what you were just saying. How much he loves his fans and loves Halloween and what well, else? First, I, I, I must say that, I, you know, Danielle and I are friends, but I, I didn't ask her to do this. No, and, and, I came over here all and, on my own. And she took me by complete surprise about this because I don't expect anybody to help me with anything. But And I don't I don't want anybody to have to do that for me. I don't, you know. But my thing is... um. You know, I got canceled with this, this scare fest, and I was talking to Danielle earlier, and she wanted to record this. Um, I, I don't think I ever have to, like, post something to prove who I am or whatever, but it's, I love my fans. I love, yeah, and you're the same way, because every fan I've talked to that's met you, they go, that you're the best with them. And you really understand, yeah, we're on the same page about that. And so it means a lot to me that, not that I have to make somebody like me that hates me, it has nothing to do about that, but I just like the truth. Uh, you know, I really believe in the truth. So I posted on Scarefest uh, uh, a Q&A that I did in Chicago a few months back, and I've been saying the same thing since 2007, that A, I'm, I'm not really religious, but I'm the most blessed guy walking the earth because I got picked for this role in the most one of the most iconic movies that, that horror movies ever ever made. Yeah, we get to do this with the best fans in the world. Exactly. How many? I mean, I'm, I get shocked that I'm sitting here 30 years later talking about it. No, it's, it's, it's <laughs> such a beautiful thing, right? You know, it's crazy. It's, it's just, who gets to live our lives? Not many people. So, like you, I like to give it back to my fans. And so when people start hating on me and like doing this kind of thing, and I know who's behind that video that they made, the chopped up video. I know who did it. But oh, you have to tell me off the record. I will. I will. But it, it's it's so I, I went to went further than I ever did. I, I, I posted this video of a Q and A, and if you just watch it, I make fun of myself because back in seventy eight. 1978, if you did a horror movie, that's just one step higher than doing a porno. Right. Because that's the only way to see nudity. So producers and directors look down on you. So I, I was ashamed of it back then. And throughout this whole thing, I make fun of myself because I'm the joke of not knowing how important horror movies are. I'm a dude now. But how, how, when, when you saw someone posting that, were you just heartbroken? Oh. Or you can talk to my girlfriend. No, I, were you I, angry about she, it? No, she I, felt no, both I tried. No, I tried. No, I wasn't really angry. Was, no, it doesn't yeah. make me angry until like way, way. I cried. And, and, I, and I'll be honest with you. My girlfriend will tell you the truth. She, she doesn't lie about anything. I, I, I just cried about it. I just start. Look at it. <laughs> It's, it's a lot, you know, that's... It's just... It, it, look, it, you know, it's... Listen, this is why I wanted to catch you off guard and not plan yeah, something, because sure. I didn't no, you just, you want... Just I just, me off guard. When we started talking about it, I wanted it to be authentic instead of, you know, uh, what what you're planning on talking about, what you think everybody like would want to hear. Yeah, right, I know. I just right. wanted it to be you and I setting the record straight in your honest, vulnerable opinion how you felt about it, you and, know? And, and I'll tell you what I, what I also feel. is like these people, my fans on Scarefest, on their fan page, they're going, well, I'm not going to go. They're not going to let you come, Tony. This is all a bunch of crap. It's, it's a chopped up video to make you look bad on purpose. And it's not even what you say in Q and A's. It's the exact opposite. Blah blah. And I said to him, and I do mean this. I do not want anybody to use hate against hate. Don't don't go because you know you you don't look at if 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 uh, if you want to meet somebody that you've never met and you're not going to go just because of what happened to me. Don't yeah. do that. Don't Scare do that. Scarefest is a great show, exactly. you guys. And exactly. there's a lot of the people there that you'll want to meet. So. And, and, and not only are, will you miss out on meeting your celebrity, but the celebrity is going to miss out on meeting you if you don't go. So don't do that kind of crap. I don't want that. You, don't do that. If somebody doesn't understand what's going on and they're going to take a certain, certain take on this, whatever. 
All you gotta do is research and watch me and my Q&A. I make mean, total fun of myself because I was such an idiot when I was 21, you know? I don't know. I mean, that's just how I am. I mean, I was blessed, Danielle. You know what that means. I understand if anyone understands you. Halloween gods and this fan base, there's nothing like it. So. And it changed forward. It, 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 you know. And I'm not religious, but I use the word blessed because I don't know what the other, what, what, what another word would be for So now, have you done a Q&A since, since that video came out? Yeah, since Chicago, yeah. Chicago. Do you I, I, address it then, or do you have to, like, watch no. what you say? I make fun of myself, too. Do you have to watch what you say, do you think, now? I mean, no. everybody has to watch what they say because everybody has an opinion, you know? No, no, I don't have to watch what I say because it, I just make fun of myself. So I don't, you know, I already knew, the video had already come out, but I'm not, I'm not going to change what I say because of haters. I'm going to tell them my story. And I'm not going to deny my fans that are watching the q and and try to like make it... There is no excuse or no reason. It's just, here's what happened to me. And here's, here's how I feel about it. And uh, so I don't change what I say because then I'd be lying. You know? and I, I, I don't see that. We love Halloween and are grateful for you guys. Oh, no, grateful uh, for Absolutely. you know this world we've been given. So I hope that clears some stuff up, you guys. I wanted it to come from me. Well, <laughs> look at guys. I, I know Danielle. I mean, we're not. We don't like talk on the phone once a week and for years and all that. It's not that we're friends and we respect each other and all that. And I. And I she came up and, and asked me, and I swear to God, I didn't even know she was going to do that. I didn't even know that's, that you even knew about what's going on. I didn't even know. Yeah, I hear and, from the fans, too. So. And I know. just want to say thank you for, you gotta for get doing your, this. You got to get your voice out. You know, the video is, is shocking. It's shocking to see. So I'm glad to hear your side of it. Well, I also made a whole apology for my language on Facebook. I did a whole thing on and, and did a whole because I'm ashamed of my language of what I said. You know? It's a long, it's a, over many years though. We all yeah, but, grow and change and get better and work on ourselves and you right. know. Right, but I still was ashamed of myself. And uh, it's not who I am now, but it's not the point. I needed to apologize to and uh, for my language. But I. I'm blown away that you did this for me. I can't believe you would do such a thing. I just want everyone to hear what you have to say. You know? You're a good guy. You're a good guy. I know. It's, I know. I'm sure it's been rough. I know. You know how we feel about our fans, right? Of course. Of course. Because they were nobody, man. I, they were nobody. I are 100% right. tell me they hate me and shit, what the fuck? You don't even know me. Well, you're good. This is true, you guys. Stuff is, can be hurtful, but we learn from our lessons. We learn and we move on and we grow. You know. That's it. Tony loves you guys. Love you guys.